Good morning and welcome to the podcast. It's raining outside, but never fear. Foghorn is here to brighten up your day with all the non-league news of the weekend. As always, we only look at the weekend fixtures, but to recap, I did go to Northwood versus Wingate and Finchley at Wingate, which Northwood got through 5-3 winners on penalties. If you haven't seen that vlog, it is on the channel. Secondly, you may have seen, if you follow me on social media, but we're selling um, hats now, um, Foghorn 95 hats, uh, snapbacks similar to this without the sticker, but you can have the exact same ones with the sticker, different colours, but they'll be a little bit more expensive and they're not really worth the money for what I'll have to charge. So I'll leave, if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, I'll leave my... Um, my accounts in the description. Without further ado, let's get straight in to the conference. And looking into the conference from the weekend, of course, non-league day, so there was no Premier League or Championship action because of the international fixtures. We'll go straight in with AFC Fly 2, Maidstone United 0. Boreham Wood 3, Maidenhead United 1. Bromley 2, Barrow 1. Dagenham and Redbridge 1, Wrexham 2. Eastley 1, Aldershot 2. FC Halifax 1, Chesterfield 1. Harrogate Town 2, Dover Athletic 2. Haviland and Waterlooville 0, Gateshead United 1. Orion only with the draw at home with a 0-0 against Hartlepool United. Salford City with a draw also. At home, 2-2 against Braintree Town. And Solihull Moors 2, Ebbsfleet United 1. And now we go in to the Conference South. So starting off in the Conference South. Billericay Town 1, Gloucester City 0. Chippenham Town 1, Dartford 2. Eastbourne Borough 2, Torquay United 4. Unlucky for Eastbourne. However, then Cox did get on the score sheet there, so well done to my mate Cox. Hungerford Town 1, Dulwich and Hamlet 2. Oxford City 2, Concord Rangers 0. It's another defeat for Concord Rangers and Sammy Moore's men, but I don't think that will let them face them. I do still think they're going to get the playoffs. Hopefully, I've got a bet on it. So this, unless, hopefully, they do. St Albans City 0, Bath City 2, Truro City 1, Hemel Hempstead 2, a long way to travel for Hemel Hempstead, as they're only by Watford Way, they're not far away from us at all, but great result, I bet the journey back didn't feel as long as the journey there, Willstone 2, Hampton and Richmond 1, Willing United 2, Slough Town 1, Woking 1, Chelmsford City 1. And now we go in to the Bostic Prem. In South, we start off with an absolutely great result. Burgess Hill Town 3, Harringay Borough 1. Well, I say great result, it's a great result for them. Certainly not a great result for us. And certainly not a good result for Harringay Borough. Corinthian Casuals 1. Hornchurch 0. Folkestone and Victor 0. Dorkin 1. Margate 2. Enfield Town 1. Mercer and Stalkford drew 1 1. Potters Bar beat Lewis 1 0. Another defeat for Tombridge Angels. They lost 2 1 at home to Bogner Regis. But Form Hawk Alex Reed was on the score sheet. White Talk um, drew 1 1 with Brightlessy Regent. Wingate and Finchley beat Leatherhead 1 0, obviously after their shock exit against Northwood midweek in at the Middlesex Trophy. And Worthing beat Kingstonian 3 1. And of course, the game I was at this weekend Harlow Town 0, Car Shelton Athletic 4. Now, you would have seen my vlog with my opinions. So we're going to run in with the goals from the, that game and a little bit on Danny Chapman's opinion of that game 
and then go straight in to the Ismian North. No! Disappointing afternoon, uh, especially coming off the back of two uh, really good results, um, but we never really got going today. Um, how, how do you feel um, uh, that went wrong, really? Well, it, it went wrong, uh, Eddie, because um, we never worked hard enough, mate. They was uh, sharper, stronger, technically better than us for 90 minutes, and that's why we got beat. We got beat four 0 um, There is no other way to. Uh, there is no other explanation for it. It seemed like we really lost that midfield battle today when you know we struggled to get possession and when we had it we couldn't really keep it or create anything with it. Uh, is, yeah. is that where you think it went? Well, that, that, I mean, yeah. that, that comes back to, to what I just said, we didn't work hard enough. You, you, know, you have to work harder when you have the ball than when you, when you, when you ain't got the ball. Um, but we never worked hard enough to get it back um, and then we definitely didn't work hard enough um, and when we did have it. You know, we work all week based on us getting the ball into wide positions and getting balls in the box. We never did it. Uh, too many people, um, too many touches, um, and indecisive in in what they did, um, and that's why we got that's why we got beat. Well, only the three fixtures in the Eastern North this weekend. Felix Stone lost one 0 home at AFC Sudbury. Haybridge Swift two, Berry Town nil. Romford three, Coggeshall Town five. Of course. Kieran Bishop leaving Coggeshaw, and of course, former Harlow Town captain Cyrus Gordon has now signed with Coggeshaw, getting off to a 5 3 win in his debut. So, congratulations to Cyrus Gordon. And now we look in to the Isthmian South Central. Well, I did say the South East, um, or South Central rather, for the Isthmian. There was only one fixture between those two leagues, and that was a 3-0 win for Chesant over Tooting and Mitcham. And now we'll look in to the FA Vars Trophy. Right, well you might notice I've got my iPad in my hand now. That's because my iPad's memory is absolutely shocking. Even though I've deleted everything off of it, and although it should be running off the same memory as my phone, because I've connected my phone to it, but hey ho, another technical issue, like I said, I want to keep it raw and live, but I'm not going to lie and say everything's tickety-boo and it runs through amazing equipment, it doesn't. So now you'll see the iPad in my hand and we start with the FA Vars, of course I haven't got football web pages on this so we're going to have to start from Sunday unfortunately and work backwards. West Essex FC 1, God Manchester Rovers 2. Enfield Borough FC 2, Kirkley and Pakefield FC 3, that was after extra time. Canterbury City FC 2, Salt Dean United 1. And of course I'm only covering the teams more or less around our regions. And as you may well know, there's a lot more northern teams in the FA Bars. Then there is the South. Loughborough University 1. Hever St John's FC 2. So a lot of new teams we're reading out here actually. But I don't want to bore you with all of the fixtures because we'll be here until next week. Bulldog Town 3. Brimsdown FC 0. Little Oakley 2, Enfield 1893, which is the Enfield that share with us, 2. But that didn't go to extra time. Of course, in this competition, you can opt whether you prefer the replay or whether it goes straight to extra time. Newmarket Town, of course, Robin Martin's new team got off to a defeat in the cup at home, losing 1-0 to Deeping Rangers FC. Great Yarmouth Town FC 1, 3-1 against Wroxham FC. 
FC Clacton drew 2-2 away with Buckingham Athletic FC. Southend Manor lost to Redbridge FC 4-1 at home, of course, in an all Essex Senior League tie there. Takeley lost at home 2-0 to Woodson Park FC. So it's a lot easier on football web pages. I'm going to go into College of Mine and actually see what they can do with this iPad. Because there is literally nothing on here other than the stuff I recorded for the private to the blog. God, this This is the time I wish I could have uh, commercial breaks. But just skimming through. Our Friday, Whittam Town won 2 1 as well, 1 0, I believe, but the result's not on here, unfortunately. So don't trust the FA website because it doesn't all get uploaded. But now, I don't need this. I have made a new friend. And that new friend is called Johnny Drummond. Hope I pronounced your name right. And here's the supporter of Billingham Town FC. And this is their journey with the FA Vars Trophy this week. And he will be our designated guest Northern team that we mention in detail every single week. And I am hoping to get up to a game. Just so we know, Sunderland is more south than they are. So they're deep, deep north. But further ado, let's give it over and give a warm welcome to Johnny Drummond and the Bellingham Town Boys. Welcome fans of Harlow Town FC and also the Fog On podcast. Welcome to Bellingham Town, a club situated in the northeast of England which was founded in 1967 by a man called Tommy who went out for a couple of pints with his mates and brought home a football team. Imagine telling the Mrs. Zat that you've came home with a football team. The best thing my dad ever came back from the boozer was, was a one-eyed ground called Jim and some black wood. Today we're facing mighty Dunstan who've already knocked out Chester in the FA Cup, so today we're definite underdogs. And of course everyone loves an underdog story, so thank you for being part of ours. <coughs> Up the town. Even though we play in the Northern League, two of our biggest fans are actually from down south. We've got Steve from Tooting. Hello. And Charlie from Purley. Hello. And between them, they've been fans of the Northern League for 20 years. Stephen, 19 years and 8 months. And Charlie for 4 months. Charlie, though, as a newcomer, what do you like best about the Northern League? I think you like the hard tackling, the 1970 style of viciousness of football. Steve, what do you like about the Northern League? The cheap beer and the easy women. That's right. <laughs> Up the town. Up the town. Thank you very much, Johnny, for that insight to your passion for your Northern League side. Now, you may notice that the um, angle has completely changed. You can't see any of the football shirts behind me. You might not even see my arms moving right now. That's because unfortunately on my phone, and the whole reason I was recording on the iPad anyway, is the front facing mode so you can actually see what the camera sees. The sound quality is really, really poor. That's why I do my vlogs through Snapchat. So if anyone's watching this that knows how to fix that problem, please, please get in touch. Because I've tried everything Apple have said and nothing is working at all. But that's enough about my technical issues. Let's get back to what you came to see and go in to the Essex Senior League. Well, well for some reason, um, with the Essex Senior League website, it has actually the results of everyone who's played in the Essex Senior League regarding of what competition. So I've got to be a little bit careful here and use my knowledge with who's actually in both the teams that are in the Essex Senior League that I haven't already read out. So if I have missed anyone, I do apologise. 
Barking side one, stance at FC two. Stephen Walden at Town 5, Margaret Spree FC 2. Sporting Bengal 1, Hodgson Town 1. And I think they were the only Senior League games of the weekend. Everybody else was in the FA Vars Trophy. Now one result that I couldn't find on the FA Vars section was another Essex Senior League team, Sawbridge with Town, that lost 3-0 away to Leverstock Green. Now, Holbridge drew 2-2 with Leighton Athletic. There will be a piece on the Holbridge manager, Darren Manning's thoughts of that. And we will end the show with that. But before we get into that, like I say, I just want to apologise for the technical issues. It has been nowhere near as good as I want it to be and I will try and get that rectified for the next week. Of course, with the Sunday League show coming out as well. Another little idea I've had as well is I wear different football shirts and so on and so forth every week. If you want to get your team's football shirts worn, whether you're a non-league team and you want me to do a little piece about them and I can do a bit of research or you want to send me something in, a bit like Johnny has done with Billingham Town, feel free to do so. Just contact me. You'll have my Twitter and Instagram in the comments and just send me a shirt. Why not? Let's see if that works. And obviously the merch is there already. Go and follow me on the socials. Yet again, I'm an absolute hypochondriac when it comes to self-worrying and self-loathing. I absolutely apologise for the poor state of it is between the iPad and the iPhone today. Like I say, I will get that sorted. Now, it is Monday. Enjoy your week. As always, it's been with me, Foghorn. I usually give you a little bit of a taste of what I'm going to be doing this week game-wise, but I'm still in the process of working that out. All I do know is I'll be watching the England tonight against Spain. I know it's only the Euro League. Does anyone really care? Not really, but come on England anyway. And I'll catch you lovely guys very soon. So as always, thank you for watching. It's been me, Foghorn. And Darren Manning will lead you out of the show. Um, today, disappointing, annoyed, frustrated. I'm not sure, if I'm honest. It's one of the ones where we um, wanted to see a reaction, we didn't quite get it. Um, but fair play to them, they've, they've come here and they've given it a good go. They, they've not come here to play for a point, they've come here to get all three. They've um, been the only team so far this season who have tried to play up, which is what I believe in. So fair play to them, they've come here and tried to play football, not just a really good reaction. And, uh, and they've scored the two goals and they, if I'm honest, they could have had more.